how to add trendy styles into your decor in your home using Dollar Tree items. Hey guys, Edith Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be starting with Dollar Tree frames and using it on an existing decor that I had made a while back. And here's a short clip of that video. Now the full link for this video is going to be down in the description box below. This was just a partition that I made to separate a large space. So this space over here is for the dining. I added more cubes and put lamps on top of them and that didn't really look so good. So what I'm going to do is add a full board at the top to make it a full table and then cover it up with doors that I will be attaching hinges to, to make it look like a buffet cabinet. This is pretty wide, so what I'm gonna do is have a board in the middle that I will use to close that part permanently and just make two doors that I will have access to all the space from those two doors by the side. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I closed about three full cubes in the middle, which is fine because I do have other spaces here. So as you can see, I now have a door here and I repeated the same thing on the other side. But like I said, the middle is covered and just the two sides are open. I'll be using Dollar Tree frames for the handle and I'm sorry that I don't have the clip but I did change the glass to a stronger glass and glue the two frames together and then I'll be using the self-adhesive knobs that give a permanent hold to make it easy to open the doors. Because I didn't want to cut the frames, all I did was just attach it to this one door here and when it's opening it's gonna open us a full set of frames. The link for the knobs is gonna be down in the description box below. Now over to another DIY that you can use to change your home with Dollar Tree items, especially these frames, will be the fact that I'm gonna take a lot of these frames and cut them into pieces and use these pieces to make an interesting wall decor. I'll use tape around the sides that I will be cutting to reduce the vibration that's responsible for the cracks every time you try to cut it with either a scissors or a cutter. So this is a trim cutter that I'll be using instead of a scissors because I prefer it. And the link for this is gonna be down in the description box below. For this project alone, I used 20 Dollar Tree frames. It is a lot of work cutting up all these frames because it took me about an hour and a half to cut all 20 frames and I was doing that while watching TV so that I wouldn't have to think too much about it. What I'm doing now is gluing on the pieces to a poster board. I'm using a poster board because that way it's going to be flexible and easy to cut when I'm done gluing the pieces to it. I don't want this project to be too flat, so because of that, I'm gonna add some on top of the other ones. As I was gluing this, I made sure that all the sides are clear without cracks. Now you will notice cracks 
some of it should be at the top and by the sides, which is not too noticeable from afar, which is okay, but I made sure that all the sides are smooth. I'm cutting off the excess poster boards and I'm already loving the dimensions and all the height differences that the frame pieces have given to this design. The back is flat and because I use the poster board, I can easily make a curve with this design. If you look at the pieces, it looks heavy, right? Because it has a metallic golden look, but it's not. It's really light in weight, which will make it super easy to have it mounted on a wall. I'll be making a wall decor first with these pieces and I made three. And this is how all three will be arranged. And I have extra pieces that are gonna be here and here and then smaller ones by the sides and much more smaller ones again to fill in the holes somewhere in between the other two large pieces. And all these pieces are gonna be glued together to form a large wall decor and it will be glued on a canvas. I placed it here just to see what it was gonna look like before mounting it at the top. I'll be using this same design, but in separate pieces for wall sconces. And I'm gonna be having a mirror border for the wall sconces. I'll be using a hard foam board and making a frame with mirrors glued to that frame that I will cut out from the foam board. I'll be putting command strips at the back of the cutout frame first before attaching the mirror pieces at the top. When I'm done attaching the pieces, I will let it set overnight. I'll be making three and this is where I wanna put them. I use tape just to give me an idea on how they're gonna look when they're up there. When I was okay with the look and the distances apart, I now went ahead to attach the mirror frames to the wall. Sometime in the future, I will be making provisions for where I can mount actual lightings that I can switch on and off. But before then, I'll be using this motion sensor lighting that is charged with a USB cord and you don't need batteries for this. And when it's fully charged, it can last up to three months. I got this from Lowe's, but then I'll search for it online and leave a link for it down in the description box below. Now you can turn this on manually and leave it that way, but it would require a lot of charging. So I'm gonna switch it up to just the motion sensor alert alone because there's already a lot of lighting around the stairs. Because the sconces I made are light in weight, I'm just gonna cut pieces of foam board, glue them together and attach them to the sides. That way it would allow for a lot of space for the motion sensor lighting that's gonna be in the middle. I want this to be as flat as possible so that it doesn't protrude too much on the wall. I use command strips to attach the pieces to the sconces and I'll also be using command strips to attach the sconces to the wall. If you like, the sides here can be covered with pieces from the frame. Now this is a simple and modern looking wall sconce that not only adds lighting to the wall, but it is also a beautiful piece that catches the eye as you're walking up the stairs. This has a gold and metallic look, and I love the simplicity and elegance at the same time. I'm really not liking that blue tape that's inside my mirror frame, but I will be taking that off pretty soon. 
Now you can see that with simple Dollar Tree frames, you can have multiple decors in your home to give it a unique and exquisite look at a low cost. Before I forget, you'd have to position the motion sensor lighting in such a way that it would detect motion because of the frames that are in front. There's a way you'd have to push it to the side to make sure it works. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I want to thank you all so much for watching. I do have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. I know that I want to